absolutely amazing how ready and willing the, the youngsters are. Sometimes when people find out what we do here, they say, oh, you guys are so great for coming to do this. But what they don't see is how much we get from it. You just feel one rather than, you know, just loads of different people and everybody comes together somehow and it just works. It's, it's amazing, I love it. There are little stories, little adventures, little moments um, that are unique to each year. Different challenges, some years go in swimmingly in some directions and are very difficult in others and some you spend the whole time worrying that something's going to go wrong because everything seems to be going so well. They're absolutely brilliant with the hospital pilgrims because they don't have any of the sort of inhibitions that I think a lot of older people have. At the end, when you go to bed, you sort of think about everything that happened during the day and you think like how much you've actually done and you actually realise how much you've actually helped people. What we have here is what I like to call a sign of what faith is really about. People really don't talk about miracles very much, except the kind of miracle where people's lives are transformed, where, for example, someone with a terrible disease finds that after all they're able to live with it, or people who are afflicted with enormous bitterness suddenly find that the bitterness has dropped away. That's a miracle. Lourdes, the internationally renowned town in the Pyrenees, is a centre of pilgrimage, tourism and commerce. People come year in, year out in their millions, some no more than curious tourists, others forming part of a more structured pilgrimage. But all coming from different walks of life, with different reasons for their visit. Being on a pilgrimage is very different from being a visitor to Lourdes. Being on a pilgrimage, you see Lourdes in a completely different way. It can be crowded, tacky, hot and tiring, but behind the external appearances, it has the capacity to deeply change and touch people. To understand why people come to Lord, it's necessary to backtrack to 1858, when a 14-year-old girl, Bernadette Subaru, was collecting firewood by the side of a river. She claimed to see a lady standing in a rocky cave before her. Over the coming months, the lady would appear to Bernadette 18 times. The lady gave Bernadette some simple instructions. Among them, she asked her to pray for sinners, repeating the word penance. She asked for a chapel to be built and for people to come in procession. And she asked Bernadette to drink and wash in a spring, which was then little more than a dirty patch of water. It was on the 25th of March, 1858, that the lady told Bernadette who she was, replying, I am the Immaculate Conception. What followed was a period of intense scrutiny by just about every profession, but despite attempts to trick Bernadette, her account never wavered. After exhaustive inquiries, the church judged the events in Lourdes to be genuine, and today people follow in Bernadette's footsteps many coming to Lord on pilgrimage. Thousands of pilgrimages come to Lourdes each year from all over the world. The UK and Ireland play an important part, with pilgrimages ranging from a handful in number to thousands. They include diocesan pilgrimages, military pilgrimages, schools, youth or children's groups. Yes, they all take a slightly different approach, but their intentions are much the same. In essence, responding to the call to come to Lourdes on a purposeful journey. We kind of arrive in Lourdes as the walking wounded, hobbling in different anxieties or things happening in our life. And just by the end of the week, um, God has done amazing things. And you return home really feeling renewed, um, recreated, you could almost say. Many pilgrims come as helpers or broncardiers. There are doctors, nurses, handmaids, priests, musicians and more. 
Pilgrimages have different titles for different roles, but the ultimate aim is to tend to the needs of others. We would allocate two helpers per malad, depending on, on the severity of their condition. Um, you know, if they're able-bodied or able to walk themselves and do quite a lot for themselves, they probably just have one carer. The work focuses on the less able, helping in a carer capacity, washing, dressing, chatting, helping in the dining room, cleaning or shopping. You're dealing with personal care the whole time, so that can be uncomfortable. And you can manage it by doing it or you have an option not to, and that's fine. If people feel that it's too much for them, then certainly don't make them do it. Much of the workload in Lourdes involves logistics, pulling or pushing blue voitures or wheelchairs to services. Pilgrimages base their week around participation in these ceremonies. One of the most significant is the Blessed Sacrament procession each afternoon, a time for adoration, prayer and blessing. So the Blessed Sacrament will come down from the crypt and then when it gets down to the bottom we will be released to process down the middle in front of the Blessed Sacrament and peel off. And there'll be benediction. After benediction, we'll then lead out. If they're lucky, if they if they enter fully into the spirit of Lourdes, give themselves generously to the weak, they will take away what they need. What the gift that is here for them is a different one for each person. Throughout the week, pilgrims attend a number of other services, which could include the Stations of the Cross, a visit to the Lord Baths, anointing of the sick, reconciliation services and International Mass in an underground basilica for some 20,000. If that sounds a bit full-on, there's usually one afternoon which is reserved for an excursion. Sometimes these take in Bartres, a village outside Lord where Bernadette stayed and worked tending sheep. At 8.45 each evening, the torchlight procession begins, during which five decades of the rosary are recited. It's a spectacle for which Lord has become renowned. Pilgrimage is a spiritual journey. Uh, we're all doing that journey together and that's something that we want the young to appreciate. How have the young people been? They behave all right, they treat me nice. I cannot complain. You can visit Lourdes at any time of year, but the pilgrimage season runs from April to the end of October. In that period, over 60 pilgrimages will visit from the UK and Ireland. Pilgrimages worldwide are organised through the Lord's Hospitality, the voluntary organisation responsible for overseeing operational management and spreading the message of Lord. It's a logistical feat, but participating with hundreds of different nationalities united in a common mission is something quite remarkable. best thing was getting into the baths. I'd say the baths, I got the most out of that because I felt really, I don't know, at peace. I recommend everyone should do the baths, it's a really fun experience. It might be a bit daunting at the beginning but after it you'll be so Thank God I did that. It's a lot of hard work but then when you work with the lads that we work with and you end up getting really close bond with them. 
sex. Really rewarding. I was saying I want to live here, but people said that you shouldn't live here because then it doesn't make it special when you come back. The greatest gift that Lourdes can give a person is a more accurate understanding of the self.